What's up guys, this is Dang Tech Review here and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the differences between using a desktop storage and portable storage for external hard drives. Now, I have both of these Seagate drives here. I got the Seagate Backup Plus over here and then I got the Backup Plus Portable over here. And I also have one more thing that I want to show you, but I want to show you that later in the video because I want to mainly talk about the two differences between the two. Now you might be wondering why there are two different types of external storages as you guys can see on the screen and that's because one is I mean obviously for desktop and one is for portable but which one is for you you might ask how much is it which ones can last forever and which ones can't now I'm gonna be like coming from my experience like from using it because I have been like using these drives for quite a while especially this one because I bought this one in 2019 and I have a story to talk to you guys about for that. But the first thing I want to talk about is obviously the Backup Plus over here. So I've been using this drive, at least this one, for two months. And it's actually been pretty decent. Like I can drag my files on it and you might be thinking, oh, where are the pros for the desktop storage instead of using the portable storage? Well, from my experience, it's obviously faster than the portable because from the desktop storage, there is an external power supply that you plug into the drive so that, you know, it can like actually boot up and stuff. Or not really boot up, but like it can like power on and stuff now it might be a con to some people and obviously you know that's where the cons come in it's obviously bulky like you're obviously not going to be able to like bring it anywhere like say for example if you work in an office and you have this you like you're using this and you want to bring this home i personally would recommend sticking with this because this is obviously like more portable this one there's like so many wires you have to deal with like you sometimes people don't even know how to plug in wires to be honest i'm gonna make a comment on that i thought we all learned how to like fit in the right hole when we were babies but um basically you know some people just don't want to do that but for the portable storage you can because there's only like one usb port and then you plug the usb end onto your computer or laptop now who is this for this is obviously for people like me that always spends the majority of their time on their computer and it's for people that basically never go out anywhere like you know i never go out anywhere well i mean obviously because you know there's covid going around and yeah that's basically pretty much it for desktop storage now some people could argue and just say oh why don't you buy a hard drive like an actual hard drive you put in your computer some people aren't even capable of doing that because let's be honest here some people just don't have the time or they choose not to learn about it and I personally don't find that an issue at all if people choose not to learn about like you know building computers and stuff because everyone has different opinions and everyone has different goals in life so yeah um basically that's what the backup plus is for now I chose it because obviously you know I needed some extra storage and obviously I'm kind of too lazy to buy another hard oh and by the way another hard drive you don't know if like the warranty is horrible and that's the thing the warranty for this obviously well right now this is expired because I actually bought this like new but like it was like old like it's an older product for this one obviously you know I bought this in 2019 and I want to tell you guys a story about this okay because obviously while I was using it for a while like I never always had it plugged in and stuff but sometimes I would occasionally like plug it back in and then take it out and I guess the thing the USB thing kind of wore out so maybe that's why I wasn't like transferring a lot of storage but I don't want to talk too much about the negatives I'll obviously talk about the positives so it's obviously great for travel because hence the reason portable and you know it's not really heavy and it runs smooth for a while and then there's obviously cons well at least in my experience you don't have to take my experience as facts but this is just from coming from me like as someone who used Seagate products before and who obviously supports the company obviously the drive can be loud sometimes I mean obviously this drive is somewhat loud but not loud all the time but it will definitely get loud in the future and I might need to buy a new external drive but for right now three terabytes is enough for me sometimes when I transfer files it would always be slow like it would be seven megabytes per second eight megabytes per second sometimes even lower than that and it could be the USB ports but I've tested those USB ports on like every like other drive that I've had and they tend to work properly so honestly I'm gonna have to like put fault at the drive but the good thing about it is I actually got a replacement but um I bought this like brand new on eBay for a hundred dollars I also bought this for a hundred dollars and um yeah and that's the thing like the prices obviously you know the 
the portable is obviously going to be cheaper because it's like small. But the external hard drive for this desktop is obviously going to be like more expensive because you know there's more manufacturing to that. So if you're wondering why these two are like priced differently then that's possibly why. At least in my opinion. If you have any other opinions about it definitely leave them in the comments below. But I also want to show you guys something that could potentially like solve other people's issues that are transferring files like especially large files and it's usually pretty slow and I don't really care about the storage capacity well I have something for you I have the expansion SSD over here now I actually got this for free but MSRP goes for around a hundred dollars oh and by the way when I'm like saying like any currency and stuff please take this as in like Canadian currency because obviously like you know I live in Canada let's go with the pros and cons so the pros of the expansion SSD is obviously it's much smaller even smaller than this thing over here and it's obviously very fast. It's also quiet and it's reliable. Now, I don't know how long it would last for because obviously, you know, I haven't used it before. Like these two are still in the box and this, like I'm using this right now. It's actually like right behind like the computer monitor. Now the cons, like I said, it's expensive depending on the storage type. Obviously when I bought this in 2019, I was obviously gonna need something like bigger because you know, I produce videos. I make videos that are usually like a gigabyte large and I also like wanna put other stuff on there as well but I think three terabytes is enough for me as I've been using this for like quite a while now so yeah that's honestly it for like you know the pros and cons and my experience with Seagate in general and by the way I'm not being paid to like do a review if I was being paid I would like mention in the video or let alone even in the title that I was gonna be paid by Seagate and I honestly don't even imagine myself getting paid by a company to like review the products anyway but yeah hope this video was informative if it was be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you new. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out everybody and see you later.